This is Appalling News. I'm Paul Chatto. Filmmaker James Cameron has praised the one-minute speech in Greta Gerwig's Barbie by American Ferreira as you basically summed up thousands of years of female dilemma in one minute. Gerwig is quoted as saying, I was just sobbing, and then I looked around and I realized everybody's crying on the set. We could not confirm if it might have been the catering. In part, the speech goes, It is literally impossible to be a woman. You are so beautiful and so smart. And it kills me that you don't think you're good enough. Like, we have to always be extraordinary, but somehow we're always doing it wrong. You have to be thin, but not too thin. You have to lead, but you can't squash other people's ideas. I'm just so tired of watching myself and every single other woman tie herself into knots so that people will like us. And if all that is also true for a doll just representing women, then I don't even know. This is a speech from someone who has decided that they have no control over their own lives and it's everyone else's fault but their own. Yes, this would have made me cry also. Cameron, a self-identifying feminist, serial philanderer, and is on his fifth wife, at least we know there are four women who will never have to work another day in their lives. That's a true feminist. Here at Appalling News, we are always happy to support the arts. This modern art installation, which also featured the artist, should probably have been called Eat, white people. In Brampton, Ontario, the largest Indian community in Canada, a group of Hindu clerics went to see Godzilla Minus One, thought it was a documentary, and immediately set out to build their own 55-foot tall Gundam featuring Lord Hanuman. It will have superhuman strength as the son of Vayu, superhuman speed due to a gift from his father Vayu, Hanuman is as fast as wind. All good powers when facing off against Godzilla. Practically every city is cash-strapped. So what is the best way to spend what little money a city has? If you're Olivia Chow, the left-leaning mayor of Toronto, it's to change the name of Young Dundas Square in downtown Toronto to Sankofa Square to the tune of tens of millions of taxpayer dollars. Not only... Is it a brilliant idea to remove the name of Canada's most iconic road, Young Street, with a name no one has heard of and will not have any clue what to ask for even? The real sticking point was the Dundas part, because social justice warriors were furious that Toronto would name a street after a man instrumental in the slave trade, Henry Dundas. Mayor Chow said, the name change is part of the city's commitment to confronting anti-black racism, advancing truth, reconciliation and justice, and building a more inclusive and equitable city. Except for one problem. Dundas was an abolitionist and was instrumental in stopping the slave trade. When you're on a crusade, for social justice warriors, facts just get in your way. To add insult to injury, it turns out that Sankofa is the name of a proverb used by the Akan tribe in Ghana. The Akan people just happen to have imported slaves to help clear their forests in the search for gold. And also sold slaves to Europeans, fueling the transatlantic slave trade. In 2006, Ghana apologized to descendants of slaves for its role in the slave trade. When asked for comment, Chow said, Sorry, I have to go pretend I support the Jewish community. Some of the alternative names City Council considered were No Honky Square, Pearl Milling Square, T'Challa Square, and Little Black Sambo Square. This has been appalling news, and that's the way it is.